a volcano on Kuchino Erabu Island in southern Japan erupted Friday morning. Pyroclastic flows have reached the coast. A volcano on Kuchino Erabu Island in southern Japan erupted Friday morning. Pyroclastic flows have reached the coast. Meteorological agency officials have issued the highest level warning. They're telling the island's 130 residents to evacuate. No damage has been reported so far. Now, these are live images of the volcano in Kagoshima Prefecture. We can see smoke rising up spewing out of the volcano, making visibility difficult. This may affect aircraft routes. As we've been reporting, pyroclastic flows have reached the coast. People along the coast or out at sea near the area should stay away and check for more information from local authorities. Once again, a volcano on Kuchino Erabu Island in southern Japan erupted Friday morning. A nuclear power plant in southwestern Japan has cleared government guidelines put in place after the disaster at Fukushima Daiichi. It's the first facility to meet the tougher rules. Japan's nuclear regulator has now given all the necessary approvals for the plant to go back online. It's the first facility to meet the tougher rules. Japan's nuclear regulator has now given all the necessary approvals for the plant to go back online. Officials at the Nuclear Regulation Authority endorsed the emergency plans for the number one and two reactors at the Sendai plant in Kagoshima Prefecture. Regulators will next carry out on-site inspections and checks of emergency drills. Then the plant's operator, Kyushu Electric Power Company, will be able to load the reactors with nuclear fuel. Training workers and holding drills are extremely important in preparing for serious accidents. We expect those steps to be fully implemented. Kyushu Electric hopes to begin loading fuel into reactor number one next month, with an eye to restarting it in late July. It plans to reactivate the number two reactor in September, but the utility has been lagging behind in its own on-site inspections. That may delay the restart plan. A group of experts from Japan has been on a mission overseas. They went in search of technology to help with the decommissioning process at the crippled nuclear plant in Fukushima. The group's members are from the Nuclear Damage Compensation and Decommissioning Facilitation Corporation. Experts estimate it will take 40 years to decommission the plant's reactors. And they say relying on Japanese technologies alone won't be enough to get the job done. We need to look meticulously into technologies, not only from Japan, but from abroad as well. The inspectors traveled to the U.S. state of South Carolina to meet with researchers at the Savannah River National Laboratory. The lab was a hub for nuclear weapons development during the Cold War and produced plutonium for nuclear bombs. Cleaning up leftover radioactive substances is an ongoing job. The lab continues to come up with new technologies to make the job go smoothly. Pick something up. One in particular caught the eye of the Japanese inspectors. It's a system designed to provide a virtual tour of a building's interior. We can plan it here in the virtual world, uh, practice in the virtual world. We can put robotics in the virtual world, work virtual robots. The system uses information on the layout and the positioning of equipment to generate three-dimensional images. Those images can be combined with radiation data collected remotely by robot. This allows workers to determine how much radiation they could be exposed to inside. The inspectors also went to a trade show in Arizona featuring decommissioning technologies from around the world. The show featured one type of technology that could be used immediately in Fukushima. It's a foam made from a mixture of chemicals, including a detergent. Scientists from an American company and a national research institute developed it. The inspectors thought the foam could be used in pipes at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. 
They're full of radioactive substances. Cleaning the pipes is one of the biggest challenges in the decontamination effort. The inspectors say that injecting the foam into the pipes could loosen up contaminated substances and make cleaning them easier. The foam has already been used in decontamination projects. The manufacturer says it successfully removed at least 90 percent of the radioactivity. I hope we can gather decontamination technologies from around the world and apply them in Fukushima. The people in charge of decommissioning the Fukushima Daiichi plant face a number of hurdles. The biggest is the dangerous job of removing melted nuclear fuel from the damaged reactors. The inspectors will keep searching for cutting-edge technologies from Japan and overseas to meet the challenges. Just can't get enough I take my chances and get all I can I never give it back And I only take the best I don't need a second chance I'd rather die with the rest And you, you tell me I would lose control but I will prove you wrong You, you tell me I will lose it all But I can stop Yes, I'm always late I lie and steal and make a deal and never regret what I do So why should I change my ways? I'm always on my path And it feels good in the end And you, you tell me I would lose control But I will prove you wrong Tell me I will lose it all But I can't stop Tell me